Okay, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to Love for Frenchies puppies video. Uh, this is Kishka's litter, six week old six weeks old video. And today is January 24th, 2021. And puppies are getting bigger. Yes, they're playing and scrapping and just all over the place now. Yes, I have to come in here some, several times because they get to scrapping so hard that they're screaming. and <laughs> They do that. And that's because they're, you know, uh, I've told several people. I'm There have been posts on Facebook that uh, recommendation for getting two puppies out of the same litter. And I never recommend that because litters are packs. And uh, when you're, they're a pack, they fight for leadership. And leadership, there's always an alpha dog in the leaf in the in the uh, litter, and that is that puppy is the leader. So, if you're lucky enough to get two puppies, I mean, I've heard where that's uh, Yuki, he's going potty. I've heard some people say that it, it works out for him, but that's probably because they didn't get the alpha dog. But if you're not so lucky and you get the alpha dog. You have major major problems on your hands. So I always tell my buyers I do you know, that come to me want two puppies. I'll, I tell them it's best that you just get a pup, puppy from this litter and maybe another one from another one of my litters. But I do not recommend two puppies from the same litter. I've seen it firsthand um, the problems that can cause, and because all they do is fight. Um, a uh, friend of mine uh, got, had gotten two puppies from me, and um, she had to end up keeping... I mean, they're fine as puppies, because people get them, and they say, well, they're getting along fine. They're fine as puppies. It's when they turn adult that you start having the problems. Got you keep pooping. Um, so, um, and, and she had to literally keep them separated, because they were not getting along at all. So, yeah, so that's not a good idea. Okay, we have... Uh, brood is pooping. Their, their poops are finally starting to firm up a little bit. When we, they went from melt to uh, the gruel and then from the gruel to the hard food, we went through a period where their stools, stools were quite loose and um, so they're and pooping a lot. So little brood is over there, got a little um, sore butt from pooping so much. But uh, we will. We will take them to the, we're taking them to the vet tomorrow, Monday, and um, I'm going to take a stool sample with me just to make sure that there's no um, worms or parasites, and if there is, then of course we'll treat them. I'm going to get that cleaned up, get that cleaned up because they're stomping through it, and I don't want to put the camera on the poop because it's gross to everybody, but um, so I'll try to focus on the camera, or on the adult puppies, and get this cleaned up at the same time. If I'm not aiming correctly, <laughs> that's because I'm not seeing where I'm aiming. But I don't want to aim for the poop, because it's nasty caca. Nasty caca. And we got, um, I think that is Yuki over there. Um, that's Yuki over there. Let's see. I'll try this. Yes. Yeah, I, uh, I said afternoon because normally I get the videos in the morning, but they slept and they must have been up half the night because all they wanted to do was sleep, sleep, sleep. So finally I had to come in here and say, hey guys, you going to get up or what? It's time for videos. Waited all morning to get in here to do it. Yes. Waited all morning for it. There we go. Got that all cleaned up. I like to get it cleaned up as soon as possible because then they stomp through it and stuff. So, yeah. See, we have, uh, let's see, that is uh, Gunther and uh, Aiden scrapping. And then sometimes get to screaming and that's when I have to come in and break it up because I don't like that. When they're screaming, they're hurting each other and I don't like to hear that. So, I don't let them get too rough. I come in and um, break it up. 
But anyway, we're going to go over each puppy um, a week, a week from today. And um, most of you will be picking your puppies up. And uh, they're, they're nice puppies. They're, you know, they just all seem to be very uh, good natured, nice personalities. They, uh, um, they run in and most, they, when I first come into the room, they come in, they're biting at my feet and stuff. And when I do pictures, I have to literally petition off the section because of, I have to get on the floor to take pictures and they're biting at my feet and getting between my legs where I can't sit if I, when I need to sit. So, <laughs> but I'm trying to go over everything, um, as to what. Uh, let's see, puppies will be leaving next week, so they'll be, I uh, got with everybody on um, the blankets and, the, and everything, so I think we're all set there. So I'm going to go over each puppy and go over their weights, and we'll start out with Pacino, and he's right here. We've got Aiden on top of him. This is Pacino. Let me get Pacino up here. Let me get Pacino up here. I squat and they all come running. There's Pacino. That's a handsome boy. Him's a handsome boy. Yes, him is. He's a handsome boy. They're biting at my hand. What are you doing, Yuki? <laughs> yeah. What you doing? And this is Pacino. I know. You want to me to pay you attention, don't you? You want to me to pay you attention. Yes, I know. Who's barking at Sometimes I come in here and I startle them and they're all, they all just start barking. <laughs> it's funny. Anyway, Pacino's weight today is 4 pounds, 8 ounces. And then we're moving along. It would be Yuki. Yuki's weight is 4 pounds, 3 ounces. And this is Yuki. This is Yuki. He's 4 pounds, 3 ounces. 4 pounds, 3 ounces. So they all get their shots today too. I, I've gotten their shots, so I'll be coming in later and giving them all their shots. So there's six weeks shots, and then they're going to need two other shots, uh, three weeks apart. So they'll need it at nine weeks old and twelve weeks old, and then uh, after that yearly. So this is Yuki. Oh, we got somebody scrapping over here. Got somebody scrapping there. Okay, so uh, again, Yuki's weight was 4 pounds, 3 ounce. Then we got Aiden. He is 4 pounds, 6 ounces. And he's got Pacino down. This is Aiden, 4 pounds, 6 ounces. This is Aiden. What a handsome boy he is. They're all handsome. They all handsome. Yeah, bud. They all handsome. Yeah. And this is Aiden. And let's see who we got next. Then we got Gunther. And he must be behind me. <laughs> and he's got, um, who does he got down there? He's, he's got, um, oh, that's not Gunther. Gunther, who's he got? Oh, and he's got Yuki. This is Gunther. There's Gunther. Yes. This is Gunther, and Gunther's weight is 3 pounds, 9 ounces. And then we got Brutus over there, and his, is four, his weight is 4 pounds, 9 ounces. This is Brutus. This is Brutus. What handsome boys. Yes, handsome boys you guys are. Yes, you are. Yes, we are. We're handsome boys. Yes, so um, these guys will be leaving um, next Sunday, and we're still waiting for Rakaia to come in heat. She was actually supposed to come in heat uh, January 2nd, but she hasn't come in yet, so she will be our next litter. And the way things look, then I'm going to be doing a back-to-back -back litter with uh, Rakaia and Harley if they both take. I don't see why they... I know I missed their, their two litters last time, but I, I really truly believe it had a lot to do with the stud service. I just didn't, I just don't have any luck with stud service. 
Um, so I recommend anybody watching this that's considering stud service, especially if it's uh, shipped. I mean, if stud service is okay is if it's uh, fresh semen. But if you're if you're uh, if it has to be shipped and you're working with chilled semen, definitely do everything through a vet. Because like I said, I done stud service eight times, and this was the only time it turned out, and I did everything through a vet, everything. So we got them all down here scrapping and playing. They're full of energy now. They've been sleeping all morning. I come in here, uh, they were early. I was up. At, I'm up every morning at five. And they were up playing and everything, so then they, around 6 o'clock, they decided to go to sleep, and I've been waiting ever since, and it's, uh, heck, it's, I think it's 1 o'clock now, so they've been sleeping all that time. So they'll probably be up the rest of the day now. But, uh, going to be busy this week getting everything around with their goodie bags and getting them ready to go. Um, I haven't heard anything from Michigan State yet. They said it can take up to 12, 12, uh, up to three months, I guess. So, I, I don't know what's going on with them there, but hopefully they see things in my favor. I don't see how they can't. I mean, it's just, it's written right there in black and white. I had to, I had her there for a C-section and they, they refused to do it. So, I don't see how they can see things any other way. And I told them, when they told me to take her home and monitor, I said, I don't even know what to look for. I said, I've never let my dogs go this long. You know, so I told the guy, I don't, I, I wasn't comfortable with that. And, and so, as far as I'm concerned, they're responsible. <laughs> See how they scrap? Now, when they start shaking their heads, no, no, buddy. No, no, Pacino. See how I say no, no, and he stops? Yeah. They know what gamma means business when they hear me say that. And that's what you do, again, when you're training them. You know, it's all in your voice. It's all in the tone of your voice. And a lot of people say, well, I can't get them to do anything. I can't get them to listen. You, you have to change your voice to where it's a, a stern voice. Because if you don't, they're not going to listen. And my own dogs do. They, I mean, when I, when I raise my voice or go into my... I mean business boy, boys, I call it. They all stop. They all know, okay, mama's mad. <laughs> mama's upset. We better just cool our jets. Yes. So now they're all bring, gain, gaining up on roots. All right, you guys. And that's what they do. That's what they do. They fight for that leadership. And that's what they do. The toughest one, I guess, wins out. So, but, and I let them go, I, you know, because it's a natural thing. But I just, I don't really don't like to see it. But as long as they're not screaming or shaking their head like they're pulling on their skin, that's when I interview. I don't like that. So we got them on hard dog food now. They're eating hard dog food. So they're eating and drinking good. Mama comes in. She, uh, she comes in three or four times a day, wants to come in, and I have to put a onesie on her. So, but they're getting to the point where they don't even try now because they know that they're not going to get anywhere. So they come in and when she comes in, they they just all happy to see her. And But I still can't let her stay in here with them just simply because they, I mean, I let her stay in as long as she wants. But she, the problem is she comes in for five minutes and wants right back out. I mean, it takes for me to put that thing on her, to let her in. It's not even worth my time for the length of time she wants to be in here. But I let her stay as long as she wants, but if I go out, then she wants to go out. So, so she's actually the first one that actually wants to have anything to do with them after they're weaned. Usually, usually once they're weaned, they, they've they washed their hands on them. They don't want anything more to do with them. But she, she does, But she was an excellent mama. Don't bite my toe, Yokies. No, no. Don't bite my feet. No, no, bud. <laughs> So, yeah, so we're, um, so again, our next letter will be with, uh, Micaiah and Tobias, and I am using Tobias, and then, uh, the letter after that will be with Harley and Tobias. So hopefully, we, and I expect that those, those letters will be ready to go in, um, a summer. Uh, if, uh, Micaiah comes in heat next month, 
her, her puppies would be ready in June. And if uh, Harley comes in, say, uh, March, then hers, hers will be ready in July. But if they both come in in, in June, then they'll both, or uh, March, or February, they'll both be ready in June. Did you all wore out, Aiden? Did you all wore out? Hey, who's screaming? No, no, guys. No, no. We don't get mean. We don't get mean. So, not a lot to go over. Um, let me see who was the heaviest this time. Looks like Pacino was the heaviest this time. And then uh, Aiden. And then Brutus. No. No. Uh, Pacino. Pacino, yeah, Pacino was the heaviest, and then Aiden, then Brutus, and then Yuki, and then, of course, Gunther. Gunther's still 3.9 pounds, so he's just a little guy. He's just a little guy, aren't you, Gunther? Just a little guy. So uh, not to, uh, again, not too lot to a uh, lot to go over. I'm actually lost for words. I don't even. Um, you be nice now, Pacino. You be nice. You be nice. You don't be so rough. Yeah, so gamma get after you, butts. You be nice, not so rough. So anyway. Um, so I guess we're going to, it's going on over 15 minutes. I'm sorry if I'm lost for words and not a lot to talk about um, this time around. Potty training is going good. Oh, I do have to, uh, it was so funny because when I was doing the bit and when I was doing the pictures, like I said, I petitioned them off so they don't, um, so they don't bite at my feet and get between my legs when I'm trying to squat and do the pictures. And... Poor Brutus. He um, he had he he was one that has a little loose stools. His butt is a little sore. We're putting like a bengay on, um, not a bengay, but a, a bag bomb on it to uh to help his butt. But it was so funny. Uh, I was I, I was done. I was all done. All of a sudden, he started running back and forth on that fence to like. And went then one in like let me in let me in. He wanted to get to that doggy body. He had to poop so bad, which I I praised him because you know he could have just went on the floor, but no, nope, he wanted to get to the doggy potty. So, Stacy, hopefully, you know you got a doggy potty for this little guy because he does really good on it. He he does not do it on the floor. He goes right to the doggy potty. Of course, you know they do. And they actually, you know I got the pitch pads down, but. I've only had to clean up one or two messes off the pitch pads. So, and that's usually probably because when the doggy potties, like through the night, when especially when they had loose stools, it gets overloaded, the doggy potty does, and they don't like to get on it because they're walking through it and stuff. So, uh, it gets overloaded. That's when they'll do it on the floor because they, they don't want to get on the doggy potty. So, we got Pacino over there eating. But anyway, we're going on almost 20 minutes, so we're going to close the video right for right now. And I guess we'll see. This is Puppy's last video, and this is the, this is her last pictures. So I'll be doing CDs this week uh, for everybody that take the pictures and videos home with them of their puppy. We got Brutus over there. He grabbed that must be a mouthful and brought it over on the bed. But anyway, so... Uh, uh, the next video will be of the new litter, so I guess we'll see you all uh, when I get my when I have another litter. We'll see you then. Bye bye.